Good morning, Collective. I'm here for another Collective reading. Um, I hope everybody is well and rested and feeling good. Um, uh, let's just um, cleanse the space a little. I mean, I've been, I, I did a good cleanse uh, last night and this morning. Um, but Always, right? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Cleanse all negative energy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Cleanse all negative energy. Release any blockages that may be preventing any of the messages coming through. Clearly today holy spirit clear messages for us today holy spirit let's have a look what should we start with let's do it Frankincense and myrrh. Okay. Let's go with the sacred destiny. Let's see what's happening. Out here. Spirit. Freedom at the bottom of it. The beginning. Freedom. Always. Right. Now let me just check. I want to... I keep getting this message. Hang on a minute. I just want to um, put everything in the upright. I did this, I think this was yesterday, and I've been told again. Put them all in the upright of the Oracle cards. So, anyway, I hope that. Um, I hope that all is well, everybody's doing well. Um, I had a beautiful message last night. I'm going to keep it personal though, I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to divulge my message. It's, it's, it was for me, and just me. And that was from the ancestors. And what will come out in the reading will be what is meant for you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, something smells good. It smells like somebody's cooking something on a barbecue. Anybody cooking on a barbecue? <laughs> okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Ancestors. What do we got? Do we need to know stillness? Stillness. This is giving me like content, you know. And it's being content. Um, this is being content, being alone, and being, <clears throat> excuse me, but. Not alone because see the aura, the aurora, aurora, it seems to be shining through here. And these like little orbs, these are like the ancestors are all around. So be content in your stillness, collective. In your peace, being content in one's peace, potential at the bottom of the day.
What else we need to know here, Holy Spirit, Holy Ancestors? Protection. Knowing that we are protected. And our messages are protected. Our messages and communications are protected. We've got... Um, uh, because somebody was penetrating this before. This has been protected. Communication systems. Because um, this has given me like the downloads coming in. Downloads coming in. And this is the um, uploads going out. So what's coming into the collective from the uh, Holy Spirit within the tree. The tree is like the body. is like the, the physical self. This is the downloads from source and this is the um like manifestation messages uh you know like what we're praying for going out um what we're trying to manifest oh, i think i've got that oh yeah that's right yeah so these communications are protected so we need to know that our communications are protected so whatever's going in or out in the form of communication it's uh, no longer been infiltrated or messed with like i don't know whether any of you have been experienced experiencing that uh, somebody was uh, like blocking communications whether it would be emails uh, text messages uh, any kind of form of communication systems were interfered with and um, manipulated. Somebody could have been manipulating somebody's messages on social platforms, perhaps. Yeah, so now, uh, now um, these... Um, these mess and, and also in the astral, right? Like... The message is coming in from source and the um, the prayers going to source were being in intercepted and interfered with as well by somebody astral projecting into that realm. There was an interference, a blockage to source. That blockage to source is now uh, being cleared. It's an open uh, passage now. So uh, prayers will be answered, they will be heard. Somehow somebody was interfering with the, the prayers. Somebody's prayers were being interfered with. Uh, manifestation prayers and also the downloads coming in from spirit were also intercepted. But this is also like on the physical realm as well, on the physical uh, like on, you know, like social media or emails, text messages, all that kind of stuff. They've been, been protected now. So, yeah. The, um, okay, and now we have abundance. Spring is in the air. That's interesting because we got autumn and we got released as well. You know that these are two um, seasons on the end of each spectrum. Spring and autumn. You know, like what comes between spring and autumn? Summer? Or autumn and spring? Winter? We're coming, yeah, we're coming out of spring. We've gone. So there, um, yeah, could have been um, some sort of release happen in the autumn. It was a whole blockage over winter, it seems, or summer, depending on where you're from. As, as to which way this this goes, right? It's either from the 
the autumn and then the winter in between and then the spring or it's this way the spring and then the summer and then the autumn depending on where you are so as to which way that goes so because of this release there was a release um, you know, like this is sort of like a release, like the blockages were um, released somehow, like through prayer. Yeah, the blockages have been released basically. And now we can move into abundance. We have abundance coming in. One more here, please, Spirit. One more from the destiny, sacred destiny. Yeah, because it's like being still and protected and then releasing and then abundance. <laughs> one more here, please, Spirit. Four, we've got more than one here. We've got three. And then we have bottom of the deck, new beginnings. Delight. Afternoon delight. Comes with forgiveness. And with forgiveness comes fulfillment. Beautiful, receive. With forgiveness comes fulfillment. That is awesome. Yeah, hang on, I just need to move a couple of things so I can fit it all on the table. Wow, Spirit's given us a lot to process here. Wow. Delight in the forgiveness brings fulfillment. A new beginning. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. And give thanks. Give thanks right now because this is coming through. Spirit has uh, cleared the blockages and um, released and also released the, the um, abundance. We've been protected. And now we can delight in forgiveness. This is forgiving the self, forgiving others, forgiving circumstances. Forgiving brings fulfillment. You know, the forgiveness is like not holding on anymore as well. You know, like not holding on to resentments or anything like that. Uh, and that, that comes with forgiving, you know, forgiving the self for um, any anything that somebody might have done or forgiving anybody else, forgiving others and forgiving the self. So we can delight in that and we can delight in the abundance and receive this fulfillment. We're ready to receive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stillness, clarified this spirit. You can feel peace. Feel peace. Feel the peace. Look at that right at the beginning. Stillness, and this is like just the full. Then falling and releasing. That's like, um, yeah, letting go, right? Just sploshing. Fall back into that water this is actually falling and letting um spirit take control letting god take control over what's going to be manifested below here what is be, this is being received as well being received oh wow 
Bem docinho. Fica. This is like um, being received into his like spiritual initiation, like received in spirit. But as a car creator, being received. Well, that's totally letting one's self go and letting, this is totally letting um, the Holy Spirit take the reins, basically, and totally letting go and releasing into this next cycle, um, uh, knowing uh, that one is protected. So that's how comes somebody can release release, letting go of um, control to be able to receive, to be able to receive what is for the collective, to receive fulfillment. Page of Wands is almost, this is like letting go as well. Like, like throwing everything in the air and going, what will be, will be. Cool. Stillness. Oh, wow, we have an emperor. Yeah. See, like, he's just relaxed, sitting there receiving, receiving the messages here. So relaxed. Oh, it's just like, oh. <laughs> receiving the light, receiving a position. This is receiving a position of the emperor. The emperor is receiving a position. That's what this fool is giving me here in this new beginning, this new cycle. Somebody is receiving a position, a new position, and know that this position is protected. There's a Knight of Swords coming in. Guided by spirit. So I'm getting the, the light underneath the foot there. This is uh, getting somebody moving, somebody's taking action. To move into position. Somebody's taking action action to move into position. They're getting on their bike. Got divinely guided by spirit. They're getting into position, they're running to their bike, and they're going to take their position as an emperor. And this is protected. We've got the Three of Pentacles and the Devil here. The Three of Pentacles are trying to, um, yeah, so there's, there's a group here, an organisation working that's working for the Devil here, that's, that's trying to, um, you know, like quickly, <laughs> quickly Find somebody before they get away. But it's not going to work. Yeah. So there's a group of three, or, you know, this can be a couple, a group, an organisation. Somebody is trying to, um, you know, like quickly tie someone down. Like, see how they're weaving and knitting with these cords? And, and this is devil energy, so they're quickly trying to tie up a contract. Somebody trying to tie up a contract, like tighten loose ends um, before somebody gets away. That's weird. Yeah.
So, yeah, keep the protections up as well because somebody could be doing like love magic, like sex magic to keep somebody in control. Somebody's trying to block a love situation coming in. Somebody is definitely trying to block, you're trying to do magic and block love for the collective. Release, let's release here. Release the star. This is like somebody has to let go. Somebody has to let go of that cord. Somebody's holding on to somebody with a cord and they need to let go of it. That's what they're doing. They haven't... They're still trying to, you know, like weave webs here to keep somebody under control. Somebody's still trying to control somebody. They need to release this. This star energy could be... Um, a air sign, Aquarius, Libra or Gemini need to let go of something. This devil energy, this holding on to somebody, like holding on to this cord, somebody's heart chakra. And hearts, heart, sacral and root chakra. Or they're trying to, um, it's like, it's like trying to pull on somebody's heartstrings, right? See, there's kind of like a, 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 a green glow here where this person's holding these strings to their heart, right? Connecting to a, possibly a star seed. Um, solar plexus and sacral root chakra so the last the lower three chakras somebody's holding the collective's lower chakras to their heart with a cord So they can puppeteer, they want to puppeteer somebody here. See, because this is like somebody in the lower realms sitting in the darkness here and trying to hold on to this cord where and somebody's up here in the heavens or like somebody's above somebody's in a different realm someone's in a higher vibration or higher yeah a higher um position place they're shining and this person's trying to hold them back with this cord here this could be a virgo i just got could be a Virgo. I'm feeling a Virgo here. Trying to hold on. Using magic. Manipulation. We need to release this cord. Somebody has to release somebody else. Stop. Yeah, look, somebody's in deep regret. Hold it on. Now, that's something I haven't seen before.
holding onto a bed. There's a bed head here. That's weird, eh? You see on a pillow, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it. See how very faintly is drawn like a bed head? This is like regret of um there's a there's a regret of dealing with all these black crows and losing a connection with a white crow. They dealt with all these crows and this is giving quantity instead of quality. And they're in regret. And I'm thinking there's somebody's and because there's a bed here, it's like has somebody slept with all these people? Nine of Swords. The ghost of the past. The bed is like the ghost of past relationships. There's been a lot of relationships here. Eight. Mm. Abundance. This is the end of a cycle. We've got the world. So this person needs to let go because this cycle is ended. See, because this person has, this is the beginning and this is the end, right? The fool is letting go and letting God take the reins, right? Let, letting God be the, um, the, uh, the catcher. And that's this, the, 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 the flower geometric, I can't remember what it's called. The, this is like the creation, right? Like the flower symbol of all creation. I can't remember what it's called. But the, the fool is falling into what is about to be created and in, in the the world here, which is the end card, is um, just falling into the circle and is um, creating. The end of the cycle is the creation, or she is the creation. And that is what God has moulded this person into. Because this person's let go, this person has risen up in this, see the rainbow colour, that's, that's uh, life, that's creation, that's eternal with the, the snake biting its tail here, and it's eternity, eternal life. This person has graduated to eternal life, eternal life, because they let go and let God and now it's going to be abundant forever and ever, amen. But whoever this is here, still in the devil energy, still trying to hang on. To somebody who's already risen. But they need to let go themselves. They've got to let go of this. And this cord. This is letting go of somebody. This person needs to let go of this cord. And let that person go and grow. Right? And be eternal. 
but and they also need to let go of their own demons because this is their own demons their own things that um that have uh you know kept held them back because they can't deal with their own demons they need to release it and let god deal with it let go of that cord you know like float float for a bit and let god pick you up float and let god pick you up that's what's happened here with this energy this full energy here is released and falling into the creation this is the creation creation um, symbol letting go and then being able to like release the body almost and um, yeah and be eternal in this white sort of being a ghost but, but you know like because it's like rising into a higher frequency where you know where is this the, the black crows here is still dense in dense energy you know dark energy in heavy material energy material um in that earthly material world you know they haven't been able to let go of that. But that's what they need to do to be able to get to the world uh, energy. To get to the end. But the collective have got to the end. But the other person is still in that dense energy. Trying to hold on and hold the collective back. That's the world. Yeah, and Spirit said that's the truth. That's the epiphany. Ace of Swords. The epiphany. This is truth. Release. Let go. And see, in, in, here, in here, this uh, crow here is released and let go. Flying. They're flying. <sighs> let go. Letting go. And then we can delight in to whatever God's got to offer us. This is, yeah, because we have the hangman and we've got the eight of pentacles. Yeah, this has given me like, um, you know, like not, not, no longer having to work hard. This is like, um, you know, the releasing in that. She's just like that hanging in that sling there. She's just hanging there and, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know whether you've ever hung in one of these things, but it is, it's like releasing. It um, gives you that feeling of... Um, you know, like just hanging in suspended energy, you know, or floating almost. Hanging in, it's 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 an easy feeling, you know what I mean? And that's letting go, and that's not working hard, not having to work hard. And we can delight, because this is a delight here. Delight in the, what is around us, you know. You know, the flowers, the trees, the air, the breathing um, this easiness and it comes with forgiveness yeah. forgiveness and we have with forgiveness see then there again there's that release see with the judgment and this person here is just rising up and then there we have the gifts from God releasing and then the gifts from God extra it's this judgment forgiveness giving the self is releasing forgiving others is releasing 
Breathe it out. Because then, look, see, this is like giving me like, you breathe it out and you release and then the seeds drop out. This is also like the flower that opens up and then the seed drops out. Yeah. So this, this here is the judgment, right? But she's rising and this is almost like the, the flower opening up and then, and then the seeds drop out. And then that's when we've got this new growth, these roots coming out here to be able to grow um, and then um, in forgiveness being able to grow and see how this one's got their arms up as well to the moon as this one has got their arms up as well that's the growth the root, and the growth and then the release and then the regrowth the, the seed coming and, you know, like, and that's eternal, eternal life and death. Um, so releasing and then having the pod and then fulfillment with the fruit on the full moon. F fulfillment, the fruit has come forth from the seed. Beautiful, big, luscious fruit. You see? <laughs> and then we have the um, Ace of Wands. And underneath that, we have the King of Swords. This is integrity and this is truth and honesty. Um, somebody in their new beginning has to... Um, yeah, be honest, right? So that they can get balance in all aspects, in their material and their passions. And then we have a Queen of Pentacles who's solid and firm. That's balance. This is truth and honesty in passion. So that's being honest about what one's passionate about and then that brings the growth in the fruit and the contentment you see that looks good that looks really good I'm just feeling that release all around now. Yeah, someone needs to let go of this devil energy over here. That is just like tight and fruitless. But somebody's gaining some knowledge about this. Let's see if we can personalise this a little. Okay, let's have a look see who on this fool might be in our collective. We have a living room. Letting go of a living room. Letting go, letting go of a living situation. This is a number three. This could be let, letting go of a third party. A third party could be a... Um, some sort of stability. Yeah, because with the fool, you know, that's letting go of the stability. Because somebody's hanging on to something be because of stability. The emperor. A three, three, another three. We have a marriage. Somebody wants to make that off and it could be that ace of pentacles there as well and that comes with three three that's 33 we've got right there with the living room releasing some sort of stability for 
a marriage or a partnership. That's 33 is the master number. That's how they've become the emperor because they've become a master. A master of their own growth. Okay, the Knight of Swords. Who's the Knight of Swords? Seven, seven, thirty-four, twenty-five. Occupation and high honor. Somebody is moving forward quickly. Occupation and it's seven, seven. That's like seven is like the creation, like the creator moving towards manifestation in their occupation. They ha they've, they're getting high on us. So this is sort of like reaching that point of uh, uh, respect in an occupation, you know. Reaching that point of, um, oh my gosh, I just got hot all of a sudden. <sighs> oh, Spirits here for sure. Um, yeah, so reaching that point of occupation. And what it's saying here is it's protected from this devil energy or this coven group here. So somebody's, somebody's occupation and honour is being protected by spirit from anybody um, playing with their energy. This magician here and the devil with the three of pentacles, clarify. Somebody's going to prison for messing with somebody's energy. Somebody's going to prison who's been um, trying to block the collective's heart chakra. Try, yeah, that hanging on of the cord. Somebody that was making that blockage. Somebody hanging on and um, causing a blockage for the collective to grow. So whoever this is, is going to jail. This devil energy. It was a group of people. It was a group that was doing this knitting, tying, binding, knitting, tying, binding, the collective to not be able to grow. But there's been a release here, and this whoever this is that's going to jail for this, this could be like, you know, like in the head jail as well. You know, like they just get stuck in their head and mentally tormented with gnashing of teeth and all that. <laughs> but if they release, then uh, they will be forgiven. If they release and let go, let go and let God uh, take control and accept their karma, then, uh, you know, they will be forgiven as well. But they do have to go through uh, their karma for that. But they have to let go of this cord. Release uh, five of, uh, sorry, the star and the nine of swords, Holy Spirit. The star and the nine of swords. This could be an Aquarius energy. A main male. There's a main male here. That was doing the hanging on. It could be an Aquarius. And they're in regret. They're going to jail. Because they were doing binding spells on the collective's occupation to hold them back. Hmm. A world and abundance. We have the lovers here. The collective have got away from this. The collective has managed to cut this cord. And that's why this person's going to jail, because they're being cut and released. Um, but now, then they've got um, success in love here. And that could also be success in love uh, with um, the world energy, uh, which is, like the success in love with themselves and with God, you know, like that partnership, the, the epiphany, the, the partnership with the Holy Spirit. That's where this love comes into it. Yeah. 
that's the epiphany. Delight and hangman. Delight and the hangman. We have unexpected money. So there is unexpected, and that's, yeah, seven, eight, nine, that's a nine, which is, yeah, the end of the cycle, because we've got the world here as well. 21, 21. That's mirroring numbers there. For releasing what's been holding back the living room over here. Could be in this marriage. Releasing your living room, which is like a tie, right? Like tied to stability, you know, that's a mental thing. Um, which, you know, could be like a marriage to something. It's letting go of that. And then releasing and then just, you know, letting go and let God take control in love. And this is when the um, abundance comes in and they can relax and delight. And there's no need to work hard with the Eight of Pentacles here in reverse. You know, it's just unexpected money. They are an authority of 22. The unexpected um, money could be coming from an authority figure. Judgment. There could be a house, something to do with a house. Authority figure and a house. Ace of Pentacles. That's come from some sort of um, ending. Somebody could have been left a house after somebody passed away. This could be an inheritance. Wow. Look what this is. Fulfillment, Ace of Wands. A new passionate beginning. Yeah, let's come with grief though. There is somebody in grief with a new beginning, with this new beginning. It's a five, which is a change. Change, uh, five, grief and sorrow. This is always an ending with a new beginning, right? It all, it's always works that way. There always has to be something left go, let go to, um, for something new to begin. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. There's a change again, and it's also a number nine, end of a cycle. End of a cycle brings in change. It could be a cancer. King of Swords. Murky thoughts. The King of Swords has got murky thoughts. It could be an Aquarius. What are these murky thoughts? Murky thoughts of a rich girl. So somebody's not happy about somebody becoming abundant because they're the lost. They're losing. Someone's losing for the collective to gain. Queen of Pentacles. Gifted. Eight, and that's eternity. That's eternal gifts. Wow. So the collective are being rewarded with eternal gifts. This is like, you know, self-perpetuating uh, abundance. That's what the collective is being gifted with. As well as, um, you know, like... Um, Spiritual gift. And that's why, right? Oh my goodness, this is awesome. There is a meeting here. So how is this coming about with the main female? Good Lord. 
A meeting with a main female and a good lord and the good lord. I'll put it like that. The main female in a meeting with the good lord. With God, right? That's what I said. That's the um, partnership. Wow. So let's see if we can get some peoples in amongst this. Who's involved here, Spirit? Who's involved in this scenario? We've got a hometown and a son. So somebody's hometown son, man, somebody from your hometown, Libra, just popped out in reverse. So there was a injustice here with the Libra in reverse. Well, this could be a Libra that's passed away because there was somebody that's passed away, but I'm actually getting that this is an injustice. There was an injustice that happened with an Aquarius. You see, Aquarius came out a couple of times with the star energy there and the, um, the King of Swords over there. So this could be an Aquarius, somebody's son. And this is to do with, could be to do with work. Somebody in a work situation. There's a Leo. Who's the success in life here, Stuart? I'm not sure whether I've got a, a God card here. <laughs> a Sagittarius. Sagittarius here. Who's the star? A friend. The, the friend was somebody who was holding somebody back. There was a friend holding somebody back during the black magic. Who's going to jail? Who's going to jail? An in-law. Somebody's in-law is going to jail. Who's the Emperor? An Aries in reverse. So this could be somebody who, this could be the person that's passed away. It's a love interest in reverse as well. Somebody to do with the arts. Um, that could be the dark arts is what I just got. Somebody no longer a love interest in their emperor energy. Somebody that was in the arts. Who's the official person over here? Sorry. Travel. Well, that's too much. Let me try that again. Who's the official person over here? Sorry. Blackmail. An official person. Why does blackmail always come out? There's an official person being blackmailed or blackmailing somebody else. It doesn't make them very official, does it? There's the death here in the house. The house, the Pisces in reverse. Well, in reverse is generally, I take that as somebody has passed away when they're in reverse. Is this Aries is in the reverse as well? So somebody passed away in a house and they were being blackmailed. Or well, somebody was being blackmailed about this death. Somebody was being blackmailed about a Pisces death. Unexpected money. What is the unexpected money? Really? Somebody who travelled? Capricorn? That could be devil energy. Most likely. Truth is coming out here. Hometown, a 
a son in a lone town and a friend, a friend of a son from a hometown. That's who was holding on with in this nine of swords and is regretting. Who is it in grief over here, spirit? Who is it in grief? An uncle in reverse and a niece in reverse. This is two people that have passed away. An uncle and a niece. Could be the Pisces. And someone else. An uncle. An uncle. And a niece. Murky thoughts about a rich girl, a rich girl, and murky thoughts. Rich girl, and murky thoughts. In law. Because that's an in law Aquarius over here. Coven. It's definitely a coven. Group of people. Family. The coven, that's the family. Change. Sister and a mother. Sister and a mother, change. Gift. Message of a gift by the police. And the chariot here, that can be police as well. So something's about to be balanced out anyway in the form of material gain for the collective. And they're uh, going to be given a gift from uh, the police are coming in with a message about a sister and a mother. At the bottom of the deck we've got a Scorpio and a daughter and a sister and a Virgo. So anyway, I'm gonna let, leave that here. Okay, I'm not gonna go any further with that. I'll leave it. Um, yeah. Hi. So all we can say for the uh, collective is um, sit tight and know that um, blessings are coming and uh, somebody has to let go. I just want to try and see Who's going to prison again and who's in this devil energy during this black magic? Who is this again? Clarify this person. Who is doing black magic on the collective's work, occupation, high honour? Who is doing dark magic on the collective's work? Clarify this person. Know that this an Aries, somebody in the arts that is an Aries was doing dark magic on the collective. The police. This person could have involved the police or this could actually be the police. Who's the main male? Okay. Clarify, please, Spirit. An auntie in reverse. Let me try that again if that's not correct. A daughter. Skip 
see the daughter releasing. Somebody holding on to the daughter. A main male, a main male was hanging on to someone's daughter. By a thread. Aries. What's the relationship with this Aries? Relationship with the Aries and the Arts. Homeless? A homeless Aries? Homeless. Sister in reverse. There's a lot of people involved here. So I'm going to leave it at that. Take it as it resonates. But yes, expect uh, there's been a loss or there is a, about to be a loss for somebody. Or more than one. Because there could be somebody passing away and somebody going to jail. Or somebody just caught in their head. They're caught up in their own magic, in their own shit, in their own lies. You know what I mean? Because they um, worked on somebody's occupation to cause blockages. And hanging on to that, you know, and just continuing weaving webs, you know, this coven here. But with this ending collective, we have abundance and uh, rewards and gifts. So um, I'll leave it there now. Please like, share and subscribe. And um, if you would like to make a donation, you can um, say thank you in the super thanks, which is down um, you know, in the little list at the bottom of the video. If it's not there, it's got a little dollar sign and a thanks next to it if it's not there there'll be like three little dots that you press on that and then you can find it otherwise uh, you can go to um, my PayPal account and you can just put a donation in there and that's on the um, my main page and uh, or you can uh, go down to the bottom to my store and buy um, a product from me and then that will um, help and support me in uh, doing these readings. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, please have a lovely day. And, um, be creative today. I'm, I, I, I'm going to be creative today and do something interesting. So, um, I'll leave it there and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.